All right, I did a couple of grafting, uh, well, a couple months ago, I did some grafts, a good amount. During the summertime, 110 degrees, I tried some experiments to see what would work or not. I'll put a link down below on the video. And right now we're gonna do the reveal and see if we got anything to take or not. So I'm gonna take this protective portion off. Nothing. No green growth. This guy's toast. Dead. So I don't need this protective covering over it anymore. I'm gonna leave this on just for kicks and giggles, see if anything will come about from it. So this little netting doesn't seem to protect it from the sun very well or the heat. Let's try the tin foil. Santa Rosa plum. Here's a graft. This is the Inca plum, which I really want to get some Inca plums. But here we go. Nothing. No green whatsoever. Even down the whole entire stick. No green. No growth. Same with this one. This one has a little bit of growth coming off to the edge. I plucked it off after about a month. And then this is last month's growth. So, um, not any energy was getting placed into there. And I know this one was more green. This one was an older branch. And with the grafting, I just got a bunch of these other shoots. So maybe I should have taken those shoots off from it. But no good on these. Now in the spring grafting, this was from last year. Graft didn't take. I should just remove that. This was a Howard's Miracle. This also was a ha Howard's Miracle. The label has come off, but this graft took. Look at that. This was from last spring and I um, headed it off right there and now it spread out. So this is from spring graft. Works out. So far I'm striking out two and two. Let's go to this other side. Here we have more tin foil. Expose it. Anything. No green whatsoever. Um, we have a little bit of growth down here from the side, but striking out three and three. So summer grafting, not so good on a Santa Rosa plum. I've had one successful graft on this plum tree. I didn't graft anything on the apple tree, so we will continue to move on to this plume cot. Here we put an insulating wrap around it. Let's take a look. No green growth. Suck a duck. Even down the whole entire stem. This variety is the Ozark Premier. That's another plum that I really wanted to have. Now, what do I have to lose by grafting on here? I don't really have that much to lose. I can um, take this branch here, see if it's totally dead. Here, I'll do a check on it see if it's dead oh yeah that is really hard I can't even scratch into it it's toast all right let's go down here and scratch test it's a little bit softer down here so we might have some hope no nope, it's brown suck a duck all right so no good for this one variety didn't take even with the insulation around it and I'm trying to think of where else I might have had another graft. I had a graft from the spring that took, but it ultimately died. So this is the dead branch. It's really flexible. In fact, I could probably, yep, there it goes. So, dead, didn't really take. Started to grow, but didn't. Okay, here's a cherry plum. This was also grafted in July. No protection on it, wrapped, death. Five and five. This one was a Shiro plum, um, but I think this was a graft from the spring, not the summer. It also died, so I'll take that off. Let's go to the Asian pear. These were the Hasoi 
variety and it's all grown here. This variety right here, it actually died back in the summer and it came back. So that's exciting. The growth that came from uh, spring grafting died during the summer because of the heat and then came back. And here is more growth from the Hasoi. So I have three grafted that succeeded from the spring. And then these two that are grafted. And these are these two are Shinsiki. Oh no, one of the Shinsiki took. The other one did not. No, this is new. Dang it, just found that out. So this Shinsiki was successful. This Shinsiki was not successful. Shiitake mushrooms. All right, now let's go over to, nothing happened with cherries, but we do have some apricots. Here's a variety, La Sigerdi Mahat Masad variety. There's growth on this limb, but there's no growth on the graft. I think this was just too small of a graft anyways for anything to take. I think in the springtime, I will try to graft this variety on there. Didn't work. Let's go with this next one. This one was wrapped and tin foiled. Oh, but it is teeny. Oh my goodness. So small. No good. This variety is no good. Oh yeah, that totally snapped. And not green. Let's go on to the back side. Here are two other varieties that I grafted on this. I like this apricot tree, it's a more park. The flavor is really good. Um, but I just want a couple other varieties. This was a larger branch. I have some new growth that's coming off to the side here. But the graft did not take. All right, here's a tinfoil wrapped one. Nothing again. This variety was the royalty apricot, which is supposed to be a good little apricot, but still did not take. All right, dang it, that is not very fun. So I'm striking out 100% fail rate for grafting in the middle of the summer in St. George heat, July. It is currently October and still no success. Let's keep going. Here's the Tilton apricot. This variety was grafted in the spring, did not take. And here's a Sparks mammoth. This is not a good sign right here, this growth. That means it grew without me trimming it down, and sure enough, death. Insulation doesn't really work in the heat here. Maybe I just need to water more. Who knows, really? Here's wrapping, tinfoil going around it. No good. Again, no green. There's also a Sparks Mammoth. All right, so success and failure rate. So far for grafting in the summer, and I tried different types of grafts, lots of grafts, and no success so far, which really sucks. All right, here's the summary. Grafting during the summertime when it's 100 degrees or hotter yields no success. One last one to check on, the jujube. Jujube, no success. So when you're grafting your fruit trees and you want success, do it in the springtime when things start growing and you will have at least a greater chance of success. Grafting in the summertime, it's not gonna really happen here in St. George. Maybe it happens in other places or maybe I need to protect it better in some type of shelter, but why do that when I have so many options here? 
Okay, I hope this video was informative and beneficial and that you too have learned not to graft during the summer heat. Have a stellar day.